Okay. I officially hate all of you. I, I'm sorry. I now officially hate people in general. I, I It took me a while to get here, but now I'm all over it. I hate y'all. I hate you for what you're becoming. I hate... I, you know... I, I'm starting to hate America for what it's becoming. I hate the left, especially for what you are making this country into. What you're turning the population into. Now, Universal Studios, a couple of months ago, biracial family brings biracial daughter, a six-year-old, a six-year-old, biracial autistic daughter to Universal sees one of the minions they look through a set of pictures listen listen to this carefully they look through a set of pictures that they just saw a couple days ago it was August it's October now I guess they they, they went while they were still on summer, vac- on summer vacation. And they saw that one of the um, actors that were playing one of the minions, I don't know what name, it, the article mentions the name, I don't know the minion's name, I don't really care. But apparently, the parent thought that one of the minions was holding up an upside down okay sign. Because, as I mentioned in another broadcast that I've done, um, that that is now some sort of super not-so-secret symbol of white supremacy. You have got to be freaking kidding me. And this woman says that she is, her words... Distraught. What? Distraught. And why would someone do this to a child? First of all, if your kid who is six, autistic or not, thinks that the okay symbol that we have used in this culture for, I don't know, a few hundred years is now some signal for white supremacy. Or if you're, if you're a six-year-old even knows what the hell white supremacy is, then you have failed as a parent and they should take that child from you. Holy crap. I, I'm sorry. I just don't have any patience for it anymore. I cannot be reasonable or rational about it. Because it's so stupid. It, 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 it is beyond ridiculous. And this person, I am presuming, is going to vote in the 2020 elections on in my state. That person, this this family, this this woman is going to vote for county commissioner, city council, mayor, school board. I, I'm not talking about Trump. I'm talking about she's going to vote in these local elections for other dingbats like her. Archie Bunker had the word. Other dingbats like her. You've got to be kidding me. See, this is the time, frankly when people have to stand the hell up against the ridiculousness. Conservatives make a big error. The error is that they, first of all, don't don't think and don't believe that popular culture is important. It is. And that some stuff is just stupid, so they don't worry about the stupid stuff. You better damn well worry about the stupid stuff because sooner than later, the stupid stuff will become policy when you're not paying attention.
Universal fired the actor who was in the Minion suit. We don't know who that was, and we won't. And they fired them for what? For flashing an OK symbol? In a picture? People have done worse in theme parks and kept their jobs. People have molested children. People have... I've put them, put out the middle finger in family photos. People have touched themselves in family photos and not lost their job. This poor schmuck throws up okay symbol doesn't say west side doesn't say white people it's the same okay symbol we've used in our culture for 200 250 years probably longer and universal because universal is one of those hollywood companies are full of hollywood people who are all freaking leftists and morons on top of that Just, just completely bent over and has given and the problem is that they will give rise to this kind of stuff this kind of ridiculous outrage, outrageous behavior by people going back to to Universal because you believe somehow you were damaged by somebody who flashed an okay symbol or what you thought was an okay symbol as a message of white supremacy. You got to be freaking kidding me. What the hell is wrong with you? Seriously, what the hell is wrong with you? I... This is the stuff that makes me angry. And this is the stuff that I can't, I can't simply ignore. As a matter of fact, a friend of mine told me, a guy I work with told me that, that this has happened. And I and I found the article online just now as I'm driving home. And I'm glad there's not much traffic out here tonight because I would crash into somebody on purpose. I would just crash into them on purpose and flip them the... It's Everything's okay. Because you know what I'm tired of? I think at, at the core, I'm tired of racism and bigotry, especially against black people in America, being trivialized to this level. That the real horror. The real horror of racism, the real horror of bigotry, people hanging from trees, churches being burned down, people being dragged behind trucks, children being fed to alligators, is trivialized with this bullshit. Absolutely trivialized with this bullshit. That's why I'm angry. And it's the left that continues to do it. And of course, like I mentioned in the show the other the last night, black urban politicians that just go along with anything that their white <clears throat> liberal paymasters say. And I say paymasters because that's where their money comes from. That's where their money from campaigns come from and the like. It is horrific. It's horrific. Tragic. That we've got to this stage. Anyway, I gotta get out of here. That's 10 minutes of ranting. And I gotta drive the car. So we do see you again. Go out there and learn something, love somebody. And for goodness sakes, take care of yourself. We'll see you when we see you. Bye-bye now.